All right, good evening, everyone. Praise the Lord. We we bless the Lord for yet another time in his presence. And um, we are sorry for the change of time. Um, but we trust God that um, um, we are going to receive um, directly from our book today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can we go ahead and worship the name of the Lord on us again? Can we give him all the praise? Say, Father, we give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus for your good and your message and those forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, brethren. Let's begin to bless the name of the Lord. Let's begin to worship him for his faithfulness. Let's thank him because he's good and his mercies endures forever. Let's thank him because he is God and there is no good like him. Let's begin to bless the name of the Lord. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Let's exalt him. It is another time in the presence of God this evening. We have another opportunity. We have another privilege to bless the name of the Lord. Brethren, I want us to begin to bless the name of the Lord. The Bible says this, uh, the King David, the psalmist said in the, in the book of Psalm, he said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefit. He says, I will praise the Lord continually. I will bless the Lord continually. His praise shall, shall continually be in my mouth. I want us to begin to bless the name of the Lord. Thank God because he is faithful. Begin to appreciate him. There is no need for, 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 for people who, who have the privilege to lead sessions of prayer, to wind us, to motivate us before we learn to thank God. Some, some some of us make the mistake of, of waiting for us to be motivated Jesus. before we thank God. There are some of us that it is until, until the prayer leader starts giving examples of several people that have died until they, they start saying, oh, it is not... It is not everyone that slept well last night that woke up well this morning. It is then that it dawns on us. It is then that the realization dawns on us that we should actually start thanking God. Who should not be? Let us appreciate the name of the Lord. Let us bless the name of the Lord. Let's worship him because he's good and his mercy is endures forever. I want us to begin to bless his holy name. Let's bless his holy name. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. Lord, we give you all. Blessed be Thank the name you, of the Lord Thank our you, God. Hosanna to you, Jesus. Hosanna in the Lord highest. Hosanna in the highest. We join the angels to give you worship. We join the angels. We bow down before you. We join the 24 elders to pay homage before you this evening. Father, we bless you. And Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. We give you all the praise. Lord, thank you, Jesus. The oh, we we'll join the angels. We we'll join the twenty-four elders. We thank bow down you, at your feet. Thank, thank, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we we'll bless your name you. because Lord, you are good you, and your mercies and your forever. Thank you for your loving yeah. kindness. Thank you for your tender mercies. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. We worship you. We bless you. We give you all the praise. Thank you for his mercy and just forever. Thank you for his loving kindness. Thank you for his tender mercies. Thank you for his sure mercies. Oh, Father, we bless your name. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We exalt you. We bless your name. Rakatana Boshanda. Get a Hosianda Yakade Boshe. We give you all the praise, Father. We bless your name. Oh, we are grateful. We are grateful. We bow, we bow, we bow our heart before you, your royal majesty. We bow before you, a shield of days. We bow before you, the one who was the least and needs to come. We bow before you, oh King of kings and Lord of lords. We bow before you, the I am that I am. We bow before you, Rakatanaboshanda. We bow before you, Jesus. We bow before you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we worship you. Lord, we bless you. 
I want us to begin to thank him for our families. Thank him for yourself. Thank him for his faithfulness. Thank him for his benefit over you. Thank him. I want you to begin to bless the name of the Lord. Say, Lord, thank you for your benefits. Oh, thank you for your benefit. Benefits of salvation. Thank you for your benefit of love. Thank you for your benefit of provision. Thank you for your benefit of protection. Thank you for your benefit of sustainers. Lord, I bless you and I return all the glory to you. I acknowledge that it is not by my doing that I'm alive to you today. It is not by my power that I'm alive to you today. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Over my family, I worship you. Over every member of our family, we bless your name. We bless your name. We worship you. We bless your name, Father. We worship you. Lord, we give you all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Brother, I want us to go to God and ask for mercy that in any area that we are falling short of his glory. That the Lord will have mercy upon us, that the blood of Jesus, that the things that the blood of Abel will, will speak on our behalf in the name of Jesus. Since that in that spring, since that in that the move of God, since that allows the devil to come before God and accuse us, to, to, to give God reasons not to answer our prayer. I want us to begin to tell God, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy upon us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. That nothing will end our prayer this evening. In the mighty name of Jesus. That nothing will end our prayer this evening. In the name of Jesus. Lord have mercy upon us. According to your loving kindness. In the multitude of your tender mercy. Have mercy upon us, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy. Oh God. In the name of Jesus. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, in the name of Jesus. Oh, have mercy upon us, Lord. And the blood of Jesus that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Let it begin to wash our sins away. Let it wash our sins away. In the name of Jesus. That the devil would not be able to end our prayers. That the devil would not be able to end our prayers tonight. In the name of Jesus. Have mercy, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy, O oh God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy upon us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. I want us to tell God, Lord, locate me with your help tonight. In the name of Jesus, let help arise for me. Let divine help arise for me. Let your help arise for me tonight. As I, as I pray tonight, let my prayer ascend to your throne. In the name of Jesus, let your prayer ascend to your throne. Let my prayer ascend to your throne. And let help arise for me. In the name of Jesus. Let my prayer ascend to your throne, Jesus. Let my prayer ascend to your throne, Father. And let help arise for me. In the name of Jesus. Let help arise for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let my prayers ascend to your throne. And let help arise for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let my prayer ascend to your throne. And let help arise for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Throne tonight. In the name of Jesus. Let divine help locate me tonight. Let divine help locate me tonight. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. I want us to commit the speaker into the hands of God and the Lord will use him for us tonight. And the, the, the Bible says that the entrance of the word of the Lord gives light. 
that the entrance of the word of God tonight will bring light. Tell God, Lord, let the entrance of your word tonight bring light to me. Let the entrance of your word tonight bring solutions to me. Let the entrance of your word tonight bring answers to me. In the mighty name of Jesus, that this time will count. It will not just be a waste of time. Let the entrance of your word bring light tonight to my life, to my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Let the entrance of your word Today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Let's begin to worship the Lord. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. Let your glory be above
For in Jesus' name we worship. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we, we welcome everybody to the last um, lap of this program. That is the third day. And today is the third day of the month of June. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And as we all know, today is today's theme is divine health. A night of divine help. I pray we will receive help from the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. And as we all know that um, the level at which we are, all the progress we are seeing now in our life, in our business, it's not by our own doing. Yes. It is not by our own power. It, it, most of the time, people just believe that it is luck. And so we say maybe by chance. It is not by chance. If, if, if we check John 3, verse 27, we said, A man cannot receive, I said, A man can receive nothing except it's been given from our book. Yes. That means everything you have, everything you have now, it is not because you deserve it, it's because God gave it to you. Yes, sir. It's because God gave it to you. And most of the time, God will not come down and say, Hi, hello, brother, how are you? I am good. Take this. God we always send someone. God we always send and help us. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know, help us come. Help us. God has designed help in, in such a form that when it comes to our life, most of the time it can come as a, as a destiny helper. That once, just one like this, and you are made for life. For example, in the Bible, Mordecai was a destiny helper to Esther because of because of the training. And, uh, and the help Mordecai did in the life of Esther. That is why Esther got to the level at which it got to. And some of us, what we need is a daily help. Yes. What we need yeah. is a daily help. Mm -hmm. For example, in the Bible, um, 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 22, talk about David receiving daily help. That's it. Day after day, he said, more men joined David. I mean, until his army became like the Hamis of heaven hallelujah you know imagine army like the armies of heaven that means i don't know maybe we have such army presently now that is the kind of help some of us need you know ministers of god I, i'm very sure they need that kind of help yes. businessmen i'm very sure they need that kind of help. everybody need that kind of help even our lord jesus christ when he was being crucified before you know on his way to the crucifixion he was very tired you know it got to a state that he needs help. So Simon, Simon of our Sarah needs to come in as the helper to help him carry the cross. That means there's no body in life. There's no body on that does not need an helper. You know, it's just one prayer point. One prayer point. And after this prayer point, the uh, Pastor Golu will come up and we will start the program fully. That is Hebrew. We will read Hebrew 4.16. Hebrew 4 16 that said, Now come boldly to the truth of grace. That we that is my he said, and grace for help in times of need, and grace for help in times of work of okay. need. That, that prayer, that's the second part of the of the of, of that verse is what we are going to use to pray that father let me encounter grace for help today let me encounter grace for help this evening let me encounter that grace that will bring help easily to my life father in the name of jesus let me encounter that grace in the name of Jesus, let me cut out grace, Let me cut out that grace, That I have the man let me cut out that grace, Lord. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. You know, that, that verse of the Bible said, "Grace for help in times of need." Grace to help in times of need. So there's grace. Then there's grace to help. Mm -hmm. So there's grace for another thing. There's a grace called grace to help. Grace to help. 
in times of need. So that kind of grace comes to someone like when you are in time of need. So Father, you're going to pray that Father, I'm in time of need. Father, let me encounter grace to help. Shall we open our mouth and pray? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we're in time of need. Let us encounter grace to help tonight. In the name of Jesus. Grace to help us in the name of Jesus. Grace to help in the name of Jesus. Let us encounter grace to help. Let us encounter grace to help. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, everybody. Good evening, everybody. I know that it is um it is a great sacrifice for us, for some of us to be you know uh, awake at this time, you know, and then of course on this program tonight. And like we, we've always promised that um, we will not exceed our time by the grace of God. Some of you can bear witness. I mean, the first day, the second day, and today being the final day. Now the Lord gave an express instruction for today already, which is the night of help. A night of help and vengeance. Do you understand me? And so because of that, we are going to be gliding on the prophetic at this time. I will trust the Holy Ghost to help us because the Bible says, well, we don't know what to pray. And I'm sure that we know that scripture very well, that even as much as we think we know how to pray, if the Holy Ghost does not pray through us, our prayer will not leave the roof. Yes. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So basically at this time, I want to just, um, I'll be leading the prayers concurrently. We've had what my, my, bosom, friends, my bosom friends said about the issue of help. You know, the book of Hebrews, like he quoted, says, said, Now therefore let us come boldly to the throne of grace that we might obtain mercy. And after we might have obtained mercy, mercy is the first thing we obtain when we come to the throne of grace. Do you get what I'm saying? According to that scripture. So after the mercy, then we will then receive grace to help in time of need. Grace to help in time of need. Why is it that help had to be mentioned? In that scripture, do you understand me? If help is not needed in our daily lives as believers, because I must say this to us that times are hard for believers right now. I say it all over the world. Do you get what I'm saying? We are being choked up, and it's like uh, you know, this Babylonian system of government has taken over all the government of the, of the whole earth. Do you get what I'm saying? That they are not leaving room even for us to have time for our families, they are not even leaving rooms for us to even, you know serve god the way we need to serve god and you agree together with me for those of us in nigeria that at this time we actually need help people need help i was out today i traveled today by the grace of the of god the transportation has become so high so many things are happening food and all that you would agree with me that at this time we need help we need that help we need the grace for help i hope you get what i'm saying and then in the scripture I want you to note something carefully because nothing happens by apostles in the scripture. Do you understand me? There is no coincidence in the scripture. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Now, they, I want to quickly lay emphasis on two events that happened in the life of Jesus. The Bible makes us to understand something as regards Jesus that the boy grew in, in spirit and then in wisdom and it had favor with God and with man. Favor was needed. What would favor bring? Favor would definitely bring help. Do you understand what I'm saying? A life that is favored is a life that is full of helpers. I hope you get that point very well. So if you are struggling, you are trying to make all ends meet and all that, it's because you are devoid or it's because that individual is devoid of favor. Do you get what I'm saying? Now, Jesus, the, this issue of favor that brings help, because at every point in time in the ministry of Jesus, there's always help. One way or the other, the Bible recorded that there were some people, one of them was the wife of the Pala governor, who was also a kingdom financier during the time of Jesus. I hope you understand. Many of us must have read that scripture. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, Jesus uh, is always or had always been helped. Now, when he was even going to the cross, help came forth again. Like my brother mentioned, that Simon of uh, Simon, uh, Simon um, of Cyrene, came to help Jesus to carry that cross. 
It is not a coincidence. Uh, do you remember that in part of the disciples, one of the disciples is, is named Simon. I hope you know. Simon Peter was supposed to be the one, so to speak, to have been at the beck and call of Jesus to help him, even during that trying season. But he was nowhere to be found. Now, another Simon came up. So now, the, the issue is that if this Simon is not available, the Lord has another Simon. I hope you get what I'm saying. Now, if you see that as a coincidence, what about the issue of Joseph, Joseph the Arimathea, that came to the rescue of Jesus, I mean, that came to solicit for the body of Jesus, so that Jesus will be buried in, a, in his own, the tomb that he prepared for himself. I hope you remember that, that, that passage very well. Now, you could also remember that, that Joseph, the father of Jesus, was supposed to be the one to come and claim the body of his son. I hope you get what I'm saying. Joseph was one who was supposed, Joseph, the father of Jesus, was the one who was supposed to go and claim the body of his son and to go and make sure that his son had a proper burial. But this Joseph was not available, another Joseph showed up. Now, for the fact that they are bearing the same name shows that this is not a coincidence. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So if one help is not available, be sure that the Lord has another one. Do you get what I'm saying? The Lord has another one. You are going to see, at this point, we are going to pray. And I want you to please believe God with me. This is a prophetic time. I want you to believe God with me. The first prayer that the Holy Ghost said we will pray tonight is found in the book of Genesis chapter 25, verse 26, which talk about the birth of both Esau and Jacob. And the Bible recorded that the hand of Jacob was on the use of the leg of Saul, of, of Esau. Amen. What does that mean? Anyone who can lay hold on the heel of another man's, uh, on the, who can lay hold on the heel of another man can actually control the pace of such a man. Are you getting what I'm saying? If I can lay hold on my friend's heel now, I can control his pace. Do you get what I'm saying? So uh, look at what Jacob did. When they were in the womb, coming out, he laid hold on the heel of Esau. And you could you could bear me witness that throughout the life of Esau, it was those and it was Jacob that was determining the pace. I remember the issue of the birth, right? Remember the rem see, there are many instances in the scripture where he was the one determining, he was the one calling the shot, even though it was a second born. Do you understand what I'm saying? He was the one calling, calling what calling the shot. You are going to pray and say, Lord, every power determining my pace in life, okay. every covenant determining my pace in life. They have said it. You understand what I'm saying? That in this family, they will not pass this, 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 they will not pass this level. It is a power holding on to our heels. Do you understand what I'm saying? That in a certain family, they don't pass this level. In a certain family, they don't do this thing. Do you understand me? In a family, they don't do this. In somebody's life or in a territory and all of that, you are going to pray. Every power holding on to my heels, determining my pace in life. What are you waiting for? Die by fire. Shall we open our mouth and pray? In the name that is above every other name. Every power holding on, oh God, to our use, determining our pace, oh God, in life. In the name that is above every other name. You demonic power, die by fire. Makabra sota yana na makaba tere, ena kete na na mene turi yana. Iro kopo sota yama ne shene role mo shone. Male kete kata, male kabra sota ya. Ira kaba turi yama ne shene role mo shone. In the name of Jesus, above every other day, what are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus, we capacitate you. In the mighty name of Jesus, lose your hold over our lives and our destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, Malaka tena na Malakoka, Iranga ba sota yana na Malaka, Roko moto ya mama la shata. Somebody pray, 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 pray. Malaka ba sota ya, Malaka tena na Malakoka. In the name that is above every other name, you power determine our base in life, you power determine our base in destiny. In the name that is above every other name, what are you waiting for? That's my fire. 
For in Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Amen. A resounding amen. Amen. From wherever you are, I want you to please, please concentrate within these few minutes. Because something is going to happen in the realm of the spirit right now. I hope you are, I hope you understand what I'm saying. And in the name that is above everyone, and in the name of Jesus, help will surely arise for us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In this trying time, help will surely arise for us. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Listen, I hear strongly in my spirit man right now. That the Lord said we should deal with a certain situation. He said, He said, it's not that his hands are too short to help us. He said, But then our sins has caused a barrier. Do you understand what I'm saying? He said, His, his, his ears are not too deaf to hear us, neither is his hands too short to do what to help us. He said, But something somehow had caused an issue. You are going to ask the Lord and say, Lord, I will say it in Yoruba and I will say it in English. You are going to say, My father, my father. My father, my father. As she say, me. As she say, won't be me. Don't kick me. Solid me, Lord. That is the errors of my of my fathers. The errors of my mother. That is crying for vengeance. That is crying for Over my life. That is asking for vengeance. Over my life. I invoke the blood of Jesus. Can we open our mouth and pray? And invoke the blood of Jesus, the errors of my father, the errors of Ogo, my, my mother, in the name of Jesus Christ, of vengeance over my life, life of vengeance over my destiny. Lock it in, lock it all for the evil of hell. In the name that is the prophet, brother, the, we invoke the blood of Jesus. And the Jesus from Ufua, and the Jesus from Ufua, and the Jesus from Ufua, and the Jesus from Ufua. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. In the cup of Hina Nabaladota. Razaba Sota Yana Nabaladota. The blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Somebody listen to me carefully. It may look like play, but I know what the Lord is showing me and what the Lord is telling me. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, but I cannot be saying everything. So I will just drop it in a prayer point and try to just oppose it with the scriptures. I hope you get what I'm saying. We are going to pray and ask that the Lord will silence the mouth or the speakings of the accusers concerning Amen. our life and destiny. Yes. It is what the Lord showed me and his word came to me clearly. Do you get what I'm saying? But I can't be explained everything because of our time. You are going to pray and say, Lord, Lord. let your blood. Let your blood. Silence. Silence. The speakings of the accusers. The speakings of the accusers. Concerning my life and destiny. Oh, open your mouth and pray in one minute. In the name that is above the blood and the Bogo, let your blood in the name of Jesus silence the speaking of oh God of the accusers of the brethren. Concerning my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus has become the better thing than the blood of Abel. In the name that is above brother, we invoke the blood of Jesus to speak against or to silence the speaking of the accusers, the accuser of the brethren. In the name of Jesus, the accusation brought all God against me before the courtroom of heaven. Let your blood, oh God, speak on our behalf. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Makabadoria na malasata yada ene kete de ne mene tora ta moko prosota ya bane sene rone bo sane ira kapatoria na magabadine de mene ta for in jesus mighty name we are praying you see sometimes this if these things are not removed we will just pray emotional prayers and nothing will happen remember that the lord himself is a fear judge and the Bible makes us to understand that the Lord works with man in three in three dimensions. That is three protocols. The number one, the Bible says, "For our God is our judge." He said, "For our God is our King, and then our God is our lawgiver." In one passage of the Scripture, in the Book of Isaiah, that is where it was stated. Do you get what I'm saying? He said, "For He will save us." He said, for our God, I am repeating it again for emphasis sake. He says, for our God is our king. He said, for our God is our judge. He said, for our God is our lawgiver. He will save us. Do you get what I'm saying? That is what that passage says. Now, three protocols. Number one, the Lord works with man as a king. Number two, the Lord works with man as what? As a judge. Number three, he works with man as a lawgiver. Do you get what I'm saying? Now, the irony of the matter is this, that when sometimes when the Lord is on the seat, sitting on the throne and acting as a judge over our life, some of us are relating with him as a king. Do you get what I'm saying? And because of that, he might not be able to reach out to us because there's an accusation that is brought before his court against us. So he is sitting in the position of a judge at that time, while some of us are relating with him as the father and the son. Now, if there's a case brought before any man, before the courtroom of God, the Lord will suspend every other dimension. Do you get what I'm saying? He will suspend his fatherly role. He will assume the duty of a judge. But unfortunately, some of us will be claiming scriptures. Do you get what I'm saying? We'll be claiming scriptures. And that is why sometimes we stay in captivity for so long in time. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So, he's our lawgiver. He gives us the law. He gives us the law. Even though there was one who supplied the grace as well, he still gives us. He gives us the law. And then he's our king and he's our judge. Do you get what I'm saying? So, you are going to pray at this time. Before we pray three other prayers, and then I will release a prophetic word and then we'll wrap up the three days meeting. you are going to pray and say lord every accus accusation, every accusation brought, against me brought against me before your court before your court i ask that the blood of jesus will speak on my behalf i ask that the blood of jesus now you open your mouth and pray Father, in, the in the name that is above the brother the accusations brought against, me. against us in the, in the court of of, of Cut of the accusation. Accusation. It covers so that you are not a malafa. He let the devil out. Rokopotoria so that you are in ragabadaria da. Every accusation brought before. Oh God, your God, oh God, a yes. We are your blood speaking in the name of Jesus. Let your blood speak on our behalf, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us be the name of the Lord. And I pray in the name of the Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now we are going to pray three to four prayers and then we'll wrap up for tonight. Hallelujah. The Bible explains something in the book of John, chapter 5, verse 1. It talks about the story of the man by the pool of Bethesda. This man was there for 38 years. 38 solid years he was there. And then when Jesus came and Jesus said, would that be made though? He said, well, yes. He said, he said, he was trying to explain to Jesus that he would have been made old by the water, you know, the stirring of the water. He said, but I have no man. No man. That is, I have no one to help. So because of that, he was there for 38 years. So a man can actually be stagnant for so many years. 
all because of one help one help a man can be on the same spot this man don't forget he was on the same spot this man don't forget he was paralyzed this man don't forget he definitely was the victim of the thief the bible says for the thief comment not but to steal to kill and to destroy look at what what was done to him he has hands but he could not lift it he has legs but he could not walk he was there bedridden for 38 solid years he would have gotten his healing, but there was no man. There was no help. So a man can be can be on one spot for so long of years because there's no help. So I got to pray and say, Lord, send me help from Zion. Lord, send me help from Zion. Ah, brethren, I'm see. <laughs> this is not the time to just. It's not the time to just do, 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 do. It is the time to open your mouth and pray. Send my father. My father. Send me help. Send me from help. Zion. From Zion. Open your mouth and pray. In, in, the, in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus. From Zion. Oh God. Send <laughs> In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Listen to me carefully. I see someone in the realm of the spirit. I saw that you are trying to lift up a very heavy object. You are trying to lift the object looks like a stone. You are trying to lift it up, but unfortunately, you could not lift it up. Underneath that object are things that are pertaining to your life and destiny there are things that the lord has prepared you understand me to make life easy for you and to make sure that you are you walk in his purpose but powers have dropped a stone a big stone upon that thing and you are trying to lift it the lord said i will help you lift it after Amen. Amen. <laughs> i hope you understand it you know i don't joke with words by his grace you know we know that every for every i do what a man speaketh, we shall surely give an account have you ever asked yourself why jesus our lord and savior did not first of all raise lazarus from the dead have you have you asked yourself the first thing he said was that he said they should roll away the stone see if the stone was not rolled away if he had Call Lazarus and say, Lazarus, come back to life. And they are unable to roll that stone away. You know, Lazarus will possibly die again. I hope you know. Which kind of death this time around? A B. Hunger. Hunger will kill him. Hunger and eat. Eat. Solid eat. Remember, it was kept in the, in the tomb. Solid eat will kill him. So the Lord Jesus said, No, please roll that stone away first. Every stone blocking you from walking into your inheritance in christ in the name that is above every other name that stone we cast it out now Amen. oh jesus Amen. and whosoever that constitute themselves as stones whosoever that constitute themselves as stones blocking you and i from Walking in the promises of God for our lives. Can we join us together here? Can we join our hands together here? Can we join our hands together here? Can we just pray in the Holy Ghost? What, what the Lord is showing is deep. Human people constituting themselves as a stone, preventing God's people. Ila bataria na na ba na ba di na na ba le toka. Ira kubotoria sota yana. Ela pepe. Ira kubotoria na ba le sata ile pepe leka. 
The Lord said, I should address that issue that any man or woman constituting themselves as a stone. Preventing us from walking into our inheritance in Christ. Preventing us from walking in our destiny. I ask that the rock of ages, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, arise. You are the rock of ages. Lord, arise and fight on our behalf. <laughs> I'm invoking the Yahweh of Israel, the hell giver. Aila pataria na malapi pepe meleta. Iro kopatoria soto yana na malapi papa. Raka patoria soto yono dobo lotoria ka. Ifataria papa lekete. Iro kopatoria soto ya. Tonight in the name of Jesus, we expel such human stones. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They have refused to repent. They have become a stubborn barricade. In the name that is above every other name, because you are on this platform tonight, in the name of Jesus, that is greater than any other name, we incapacitate them. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, our Father. Thank Lord. you, Lord. All right, so let me quickly wrap up here. The Lord has done great and mighty things. Some of us, help is not coming our way because of these human stones. Do you understand me? And the Lord said to me, he said, he said for the people online right now, he said, I have taken care of those stones. Amen. 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 Do you get what I'm saying? You will share testimony. You will share testimony. I tell you the truth. Amen. You share testimony. I saw, I saw one scatter. I saw his toes scatter. Amen. Uh, they, they, they made a mistake. Eh? For you to have joined this platform tonight, they made a mistake. Amen. <laughs> they made a mistake. Amen. Amen. For you to have joined the platform tonight, they made a mistake. They shouldn't have allowed you to join the platform tonight. <laughs> I hope you get what I'm saying. And I want you to please share this video, share the link so that people will go and watch. Some people are unable to, because you know how people can be. It is not their fault. Prayer gathering that can change a man's destiny. Some people will never be there, no matter how much you try. It is not their fault. It is the power holding them down. Unfortunately, many of them don't know. So events that does not have value to them, they will be there. They will even be the first to be there. But the ones that the Lord has planned, has not just treated, do you understand me? To, to liberate them, some of them will not be there, but it's not their fault. Are you getting what I'm saying here? Clearly. You are going to pray because our time is up. Already our time should be up in two minutes. You are going to pray fervently. I thank the Lord for what they have done tonight. Though. If I give it, it's only this one. I'm happy. Honestly fulfilled. The stone has been rolled away. Amen. You are going to pray. The Lord. Thank you, Lord you Jesus. Pray as you had there. Eh? The Lord. Wherever my original self has been locked up. I call you in persistence. I call you in existence. Help is not locating some of us because our real self has been locked up. I cannot explain this. Do you get what I'm saying? Help is not reaching us. They are not even seeing us. They are not seeing us. I tell you the truth. You might feel that you are doing fine and all that. You can do better. Do you get what I'm saying? You can do better. Amen. Amen. And the, remember, the Bible says, He said, I look up to the hills. He said, Where come at my help? He said, My help come from the Lord. Who made what? Who made the heavens and the earth? Amen. Amen. Help is needed in our journey. Yes. 
there's a way help help helps to starting the time of oiling you get help divine help shortens the time that we are supposed to spend do you understand me either to struggling or toiling and it's like a shorten your time when you are walking in your on your destiny path it's called help it's called help i tell you the truth and i've seen god help people is it financial help is it warfare spiritual warfare help that god himself arose and fought on behalf of some people amen and they held their peace even I'm, I'm a living testimony of that my brother is a living testimony of that yeah sometimes the lord will be fighting battles for us and we just hold our peace the one we know the one we do not know the arrow that flies by day the person that, the person that move at night are you getting what i'm saying carefully help day by day men came to help david you don't remember you think he just became a mighty host you think he just became a mighty king men came on their own volition that vision that you carry in you you need help yes you understand what I'm saying? it's not it's not about material it's not about material now it's not about house i want to build house. i want to travel out i want to buy a car mm -hmm. it's all i want to eat i want to have money and all no i'm talking about your destiny your purpose what god has imputed into your spirit you need help you need help and i'm going to pray a banana prayer as i had the lord clearly in the afternoon he said at every junction of life he said tell my people that i will station help for them yeah. including myself i may leave it as one of these two i tell you the truth at, at diverse junction and by the way our what what our watch word tonight is do not lobby don't lobby for anything anyway you can't finish this prayer and be lobbying for anything do you know what i'm saying yes. do not lobby now you are going to pray now the lord my real self in the name of jesus appear yes I call you into existence. Call you into existence. Shall we open our mouth and begin to I pray? Pray in, in one minute. In the, name of Jesus. Up here. in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you have been logged up, in the name that is above every other name. Rokopotoria Sota Ilakadanemele. Falatariata. In the mighty name of Jesus. Makabra Soto Yobolotoria now. In the name that is above every other name. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Two people under the sound of my voice, the Lord said to me that I should tell you that you have been praying concerning a particular situation. And it seems as though that the situation does not want to bend. It's a spiritual warfare situation. He said, he said, I should tell you, he said, I, the Lord, have decided to arise concerning your matter. Yeah. 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 Are you getting what I'm saying? So if need be that you want to share some things, you can request for um, the WhatsApp number so that we'll be able to, you know, cancel, do prayer counseling and all that. Amen. Amen. Because we cannot finish everything at this stage, like, like this, at this time on the platform. We are going to pray the second to the last prayer. And I tell you the truth, you just pray so that I will just make a prophetic declaration. I'm sorry we have overshoot the time, but I think four minutes now. Please pardon me, please. Please pardon me. We are going to pray. You know, the issue of my, my feet bullshit is still something that wows me to now that david woke up one day and requested and said is there anybody in the house of Saul that i can show kindness to hey Jesus. one day just like that david woke up so there is no national matters that david had to attend to that it is the issue of the house of Saul 
that now came to his head. And you think that it is, you think it is ordinary. <laughs> it is not ordinary. Something so, was set in motion. Do you understand me? As of that time, something was set in what? In motion. We are going to pray to the Lord and say, Lord, Lord. make my helpers restless for my sake. My I tell you, they are stubborn helpers. I tell you the truth. I was ministering somewhere and I told them that there are some stubborn helpers that the Lord must have instructed that they should help you at a particular point in time or another, and some of them with all the help. And that was why I started this ministration. I said, if one Joseph is not available, there will be another Joseph. If one Simon is not available, there will be another what? Simon. I hope you get what I'm saying carefully. So you are going to pray and say, Lord, make my help as restless for my sake. I tell you the truth under God. You will see the hand of the Lord and you will be shocked. Because these prayers are not emotional prayer. It is the only ghost that gave us. Are you ready to pray now? Yes. Say, my father. My father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Make my helpers. Make my helpers. Restless. Restless. For my sake. For my sake. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name Lord, of Jesus. Lord, make my helpers. Restless. For our sake. In the in name, the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Make our helpers of our restlessness. In the name of Jesus. Make our helpers of our restlessness. Make my the final prayer is you're going to pray and say, Lord. May my head not lack help. Oh, you are going to prophetically pray that Lord, in the name of Jesus, may my head not lack what? Not lack help. Shall we open our mouth and pray one minute? Father, and then I will in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, may my head not lack help. Not lack in the help. name the of Jesus, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, bless every the name of the Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. It is sounding name, man. Now, listen to me wherever you are. Listen carefully. You are trusting God for one thing or the other. And I hear the Lord said to me, said, because you have been faithful to this instruction at this time. He said, what you trust him for in righteousness? He said, you have received it. Amen. I hope you know that I'm not trying to excite you. If I did not hear the Lord, I will not say it. Amen. And you would be the next to testify. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Are you hearing me clearly? Are you hearing me clearly? Are you saying amen wherever you are? Amen. amen. Are you saying amen wherever you are? Amen. amen. The pit that was dug for you, in the name of Jesus, they, those who dug the pit, may they fall into it thereof. Amen. Ah, you are not getting me. I'm already in the prophetic. I'm releasing the word already. Because as I hear the Lord say, I am saying it unto you. I said the pit that was dug for you, the, that pit was dug for you. It's a trap. I'm seeing it clearly. A trap, they set it, they dug a pit, and then they now covered it with grasses, expecting that you walk over it and then you fall into that pit. I pray for you. The Bible says, Our soul escaped like the bird that escaped from the snare of the fowler. You have escaped. Amen. Amen. Uh -uh. I said, You have escaped. Amen. Upon their head, their own head, we eat back. All the causes, Amen. every negative word have released ahead of our destiny. Amen. We keep it back upon their own. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Christ. Amen. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Okay, thank you, Lord. 
I see that two people got an offer. An offer, two. Two people got an offer. I hope you are listing it down. Two people got an offer, an offer, an offer. Amen. Amen. And this offer will glorify the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I said again, money, Lord, or just a logic bass. Amen. I say for the third time, I say again, Lord, or just a logic bass. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen, why are you afraid of fear? And why are you afraid of death? Who is it that is afraid of death? I decree as a priest, as a prophet of the living God, you shall not be the dead and shall not bury the dead. We have started June together. I tell you the truth, honor God. December, who all of us who will count, no will be missing, no will be broken. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I pray in a name that is greater than any other name that everything either to injure the help from coming our way. Uh -huh. I don't know if you understand your word, but the Lord opened international door for some people right now. Amen. Amen. On this platform. Amen. You are hearing me right now. It is coming to you on a platter of gold. Amen. Amen. You are, we are not lobbying for anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank our Father. Thank our head will not lack help. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, because of us and our Thank prayers. you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Amen. Please. Please kindly inform people about the link on YouTube and all that so that they can also watch at their own time. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you also, you can rewatch again to pray those prayers. The Lord said that somebody said your iniquities is pardoned. Amen. He said I should mm. prophesy Isaiah 40 verse 1 and 2 to you. But I'm going to lay a on verse 2. He said I should cry out to you and I should say to you that your warfare is ended. Amen. Amen. And that your iniquity is pardoned. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I don't know who you are. The Lord said your iniquity is pardoned. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank our Father and our God for our prayers. This is our season of unprecedented help. Amen. And the season of the Lord's vengeance. Amen. When they when they lift their hand, their hand dry up. Amen. When they lift their hand against us, may it dry up. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 20, verse 11, said, Because the Lord is with me as a mighty terrible one, he said, Therefore, let those that persecute me, let them stumble and they shall not prevail. Every of our persecutors shall stumble and they shall not prevail. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. There are many other things coming, but because we have already, we are way far, far above schedule and all that, I need to let you go. Do you get what I'm saying? If you need to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, please. Kindly signify, and I think um, uh, Brodan would drop um, the number. Kindly signify, we can actually talk. Do you understand me? Prayer counseling and all that. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you for being a part of this. In the name that is above every other name, receive the reward of obedience in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Shall we share the grace of fellowship? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the sweet fresh of the Holy Spirit with us now and from Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall the of the forever. forever. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.